Hello and welcome to Hixie Studio. In this video I'm going to show you how to make this tag uh, and I'm using this lovely die from Creative Expressions. It's one of their paper craft, uh, paper cuts sorry, dies um, <clears throat> and it's called the Cuckoo Clock Edger. So I've used it um, not specifically as an edger but as like sort of the, the sort of decoration on this tag. Um, in the set you get the die so um, obviously it goes around that way so this is the cut edge um, but you also get this little die um, which cuts out the hands for the clock, cuts out this little bird and it cuts out the heart. So I um, have cut it twice because I did a little bit of paper piecing <coughs> excuse me in in this side so excuse me <coughs> we will um we will do that uh, once we've got everything else stuck on so first thing is the tag i've made it out of gray board um if you've seen some of my uh, older videos you'll know that i have um a set of um templates i'll leave them there you can have a look at the measurements um but you can obviously you know make them in between this is just how i've got them and we're going to use the bigger ones so what i do is i literally Draw around on grey board. Um, this is quite a thin, flexible one. You can use harder uh, ones, thicker ones. You can use mount board or, or even just ordinary card. But um, yeah, that's what I have done there. So let's put those away. Um, and I've already gone ahead and uh, covered it on one side. So um, you can use tape. You can use acrylic glue you know the, the you know cosmic shimmer whatever when i'm putting something on that's covering i like i prefer to use um a glue that uh i can get right up to the edges oh, lovely i always leave it to dry so that i can pick those bits off something quite satisfying about that if um if you're a i'm a, a normally a primary school teacher yeah, I teach you, you know what I mean. You just used to leave all the glue sticks after an art session and then the following morning go in and just spend a little bit of time peeling them off. A bit like these like a stress balls kind of thing, I suppose. Anyway, so yeah, so I, I prefer to use this kind of glue because um you spread it on and you only need a really thin um amount. This is um this is Jamie's original on the shield. It says if you can see the white, you've got too much on there. So just make sure you've covered everywhere. Then just scrape. Now it is quite warm today, so things are going to be drying at a rather rapid rate. So let's get that um onto my piece of paper like so. I realise that left my prayer in the box but it's not a big deal i'll just give it a good old rub down make sure i get up the lid back on that um, and excuse me i think rattling on the table as i'm doing so so oh okay i didn't see that a little bit there hopefully that will have stuck no a little bit of glue there seems to have been stuck there as I said, in <laughs> I literally checked these glues not two minutes ago and already they're dry. It's a very, 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 very warm day today. It's the hottest day of the year so far. Um, so everything is deciding me. It wants to dry really quickly. Right, so that's on there. So all I'm going to do is take a pair of scissors and I'm going to butt them up do the tag and then just cut and that gives you a good full coverage. I'm going to do some inking in a minute and uh, including inking the edges so that um, we don't see the, the grey board that will be covered or disguised if you like 
with um with some ink. So before that one's that's a very funny yellow. I am also going to squirt a bit of glue in there. This hasn't stuck very well. Okay, let's take that down. Okay, so um, I'm using some distress oxide to just add a little bit of more interest to uh, my tag, and I've got to decide which way around I want it. I think I think we'll go this way and we'll link down here so i'm using these are um from elizabeth croft designs their art journal collection and they are the so 40 pattern stencil pack and you get quite a few different ones in here they, they're really lovely so if you if you like um you know when you go on on holiday or you know maybe you've got caravan camper van and you want to, something little these a really lovely little set of um stencils um it's a beautiful mandala there basket and uh another sort of mandala cornery type um yes yeah, so this is a lovely little pack of um of stencils and i've used three of them i've used the dots i've used the um the sort of abstract roses and i've used the uh the little sort of diamond bit off of this one i think that's supposed to be like a, a deer maybe some sort of scandy deer okay so i am using um tattered rose and saltwater taffy with the stencils um and then i'm using uh aged mahogany to go around the edges i'm not actually using that one for stenciling it's a bit too dark so we'll start with the um the saltwater taffy and I'm going to use that with this one because it's kind of like all background I can see I've got a bit of mess on there before I even start okie dokie right um I don't need to worry too much over here I will get a little bit on there um but most of that is going to be covered up with the die cut and I am literally just going to uh stencil through I'm not bothering about um putting it so now you can see there i slipped but it's it's not going to really matter um quite honestly it won't just kind of goes into the background um i am going to do a little bit here because that does get this this bit here comes out so that's kind of where i'm going with it and then so that's with the tattered rose and then I'm going to use salt water taffy um, with this little rose one. We're going to do some up the top here. And then some down the bottom here. I have to say, I didn't, I didn't get the salt water taffy uh, ink when it first came out. I kind of waited, but. Oh, it's such a lovely colour, such a lovely colour. Right, and then I'm going to use this one down through this little bit here. It's down through there. Again with the saltwater taffy. There we go. So that just adds some more interest to this side of the tag. Um, and then I'm going to get my um, aged mahogany. And we're going to just, you can see I've I've kind of edged it here. So first thing I'm going to do is just go around and cover those um, bits at the edge of the, uh, the grey board. Get that covered. I've got a bit of ink on my hands, so I'm just being a little bit careful not to... Uh, um, uh, not to get my messy fingers basically everywhere it's probably a futile attempt but you know i'm trying okay so i've so i've got the the um the edge of the gray board done i'm gonna grab my um my inking mat here 
we should have had earlier. I'm just going to very gently bring that aged mahogany in. I'm not doing any blending. I'm just literally with the brush just dragging it in. I'm not going to worry down that side because that's going to completely be covered with the um, uh, the <coughs> the die cut. Okay. So there is our tag. I'm not going to punch the hole through yet, just uh, because obviously it, I might end up covering it with the die, the, um, the die cut. So we'll do that uh, near the end. Okay, so put that to the side to dry. So what we want to do now is uh, cut our die. So first of all, we're going to um, cut it in the uh, this lovely uh, burgundy card. Now. You need to make sure you've got enough space here. Okay, so I'm going to put it there, and I I can cut this this off. We don't need that bit, that bit. But you need to make sure you've got enough on this side for you to play with in terms of placing your um, uh, die cut. Also, at the top and bottom, make sure you've got a little bit of wiggle room uh, to place it. Let's grab our Tape. Ooh. She got me apron on for once today. Right. Okay, so let's see. I am going to I am going to use the magnifying on this because the uh, it's quite a, a long die. I want to try and get that to cut that through. Remember, we're also going to do it with um, a piece of the uh, pink card um, to fill in uh, paper piecing first. But we're going to get everything stuck down before we do that uh, to make sure that uh, we don't lose the pieces. Right now. Probably looking at that, I probably didn't need. Can you see how that's buckled a bit? I probably didn't need the magnetic in there. We'll try it for the next one. Okay, there we go. Oh, come on, Jake. Can we want to come up? Okay, one more bit. Okay, there we go. Okay, let me go to it. So we're going to gently release, but it decided it was coming out anyway. So before I do anything else, I am going to clean out the die because, as I said, we're going to need to cut that again um, with some pink card. So we just need to make sure I've got all the bits out. So give it a good brush first, get as many of the bits out as you can, and then go in with your Pokey tool if you need to. So I've got that. I think that was the only bit. Oh no, it's a bit down there. Okay, so that's all of that cut for the moment. We don't need those. Um, so what I'm going to do is just uh, with my scissors, I'm just going to cut up to there. And then here's the other end. I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to cut to there. So that's the bit that gets discarded. So this is what's going on to our tag. So it's going to go here. So it's a case of deciding where, where you want it placed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just Measure. So I've got, it's a three and a half inch uh, wide tag. So half of that, if my brain is working, is one and three quarters. Am I right? One, two, three and a half, one and a half, one and three quarters. So I'm just going to grab a pencil and I'm just going to mark one and three quarters there. And I'm going to do the same on this end just gives me a guide as to where I want this. It also make, means that this is more vertical because you can see I haven't 
necessarily cut it vertically. Now because I put it through with too much pressure you can see that it's it's warping a little bit so we're going to need to make sure we've got a good amount of glue. Now before we do that I just want to just open the uh, things. And if you want you could put a cuckoo here. The other thing I was thinking when I was doing this you could make this for an age so I, and tie that in with the, the time that you put on the clock so I put four o'clock so you put me for a, a 40th um, so you could have quite a nice play with that so right so we're going to need to put a reasonable amount of glue on this because I've I've um, managed to buckle the card but it's not the end of the world she says hoping that the glue isn't going to dry too quickly so so I am I am not using my phone one because if I use my foam one, that definitely, I say definitely, it's most likely to, to dry more quickly than I would want. So I'm putting on a fair bit of glue and I will blot this in a moment um, to get rid of excess. But I'd rather at the moment have too much um, because like I say it's extremely warm today. And uh, it does mean that things are going to dry out very, very quickly. Okay, now I'm. Oh, here we go. See, this one's already decided. Okay, now it's had enough. Has it done the same one? Okay, I'm going to stick it in there. Let's put it in there. There we go. Chances are with this one, I've had this before with this little bottle, it, there's a, a bit somewhere in there that's thickened up and then doesn't want to come on out. So, right, so I'm going to abandon that one for the moment and we'll go let's see if we can get the, uh, it's going to be one of those days, I think, with the glue, it's just constantly keeping the bottles unblocked let's go yeah right okay good okay so let's get i'm getting plenty of glue on there uh, like i said so that i i've got sort of enough squid room if you like to try and counteract the um sort of warping from too much pressure but we'll see we'll see how we go Right, fingers crossed the pin stick. Okay, so again, I'm looking for those two little marks I made, one there and one there, and I'm also deciding how high up I want the. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. Maybe a bit more. Oh, my fingers going like. About there. Right, so now we need to give this all a really good press down. Okay, you can see now that oh, fortunately I've got glue on my fingers and I've managed to get glue on onto the die cut. So just be a little bit careful because even though I said I was going to blot it, I forgot, didn't I? So yeah, too much glue. But you can see. Too much glue was in it's made a mess but not too much glue you can see that now i've managed to um remove all that buckling the the gray board is heavy enough to be able to deal with it if you put that onto something else lightweight it's likely to buckle that too but this because it's gray board it's uh it's fine so i'm going to cut this just like we did I need to clean your scissors afterwards she says i don't think i've ever cleaned the scissors well it's not for a long time but yeah just be careful because you, uh, you're now cutting through gluey stuff and you may want to clean your scissors okay so now that's stuck down which is good and get rid of that sticky mess and i'm going to um, right, we need to cut it now in pink. So now I'm going to not use the magnetic this time. Let's see how we do. Oop. 
lovely banana shaped um, plate at the moment so uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll see how we get on you can see it's up there down there but it's still usable and workable rather than replace unnecessarily we will keep going so i am going to use a piece of one piece of card a piece of card with a little bit of it and then through now what i what i need now is to uh to pin away um it's i don't want all the bits to fall out of this because um if you want to paper piece so i'm turning it over excellent so that's cut fine and i'm going to be very very careful with it so what we're going to do is i'm going to use I'm going to use my fine tip applicator. This, this is a tacky glue. In theory, even though it starts to dry out, it should stay tacky. So I'm going to look on here and see where I did. So I put some, I did this bit. And I did this little bit here. And then I did, I didn't do the dots. You can do the dots if you want, but I kind of felt a little well it would take a take a long time but um also really really goodly so i'm just kind of looking at where bits i did last time and get your fingers crossed that uh this glue is going to stay tacky and not dry out completely okay Uh, here, uh, here, uh, here. I think I might push my luck a little bit with the amount of uh, places I put the glue in, but we'll see. Right, let's put the lid back on that. And I'm going to get the sticky tool. And I'm going to very gently turn it over. So I'm not taking the whole thing out. I'm going to attempt to do this um, a bit at a time. So I'm trying, looking on the back to see where I'm at. And then poking a piece out. So this is this bit here. I mean, I think... This is how I always pay for this because I just find it easier to keep track of where everything is. It may not be how you do it. You might want to uh, be quite happy poking them all out and then working out where they go. I tend to lose track of what I'm doing if I do that. So I tend to do this a little bit at a time as I go. Put them in there. And then you want that. Right, so this is that big, big swirl. Goes in here, and then the star to the side of it there, like so, and then we've got the Four bit one. You can see even these little bits of video, and this is why I didn't um make the choice not to do the um the little dots as well. Let me know this turned over. There. And a bit at the bottom. Like so. 
Um, like that, and then there. I'm not going to get that with my wet pencil, am I? Let's see. This goes, I can see that my fingers, this goes in that one there. And we have that one in there, and the little star has a little star. Uh, oops, and over that goes in. Oh, I got it wrong. Uh, but... oh, that there we go. That's gone in there. And then we want the pendulum. That and I'm just going to lift that off now and hope I can see the bits I'm looking for. That's hmm. so far. That bit is still in there. And that bit goes in. In there, and I'm hoping that bit yes is still in the die. Go in there, and then I want the little heart shape on the top of the clock. And then the roof. This. I mean, if you wanted to, you could do the numbers on the clock face. Um, but I'm quite happy with with what I've got there. Okay, and that also then leaves you with um the die cut for another project. Okay, let's put that in there and I will clean that die out later. Um, I mean, one way that you can make sure that the bits stay in if you're, you're you know, paper piecing is putting tape over the back of uh, that part of the die because then that bit of the little, even if it's just a little bit, will stick um, to the, uh, the bit of tape and will not. Sort of automatically pop out so um yeah uh, there are little sort of tricks that you can do as me saying i'm not going to clean this die and then blithely going ahead and trying to clean the die just a little few little dotty bits left in but i have to see there's one in the middle there and there's two there oh, the top there as well right okay I have to the die. Right, so um all that really remains now. Oh no, I have already gone ahead and cut, I'm hoping, all the bits using the um, this little die here. So I've got you can see I've cut this multiple times. I've got the hands, one large, one small, got a little bird, and I've got the hearts. So um, I don't need to show you those. I'm going to put those back in there. And then, um, so we can basically make the clock say whatever time we want. But I'm going to go with the four o'clock that I did last time. Remembering that the long hand points to the minutes. And the short hand points to, I've got way too much glue on there, the minute hand 
points, sorry, the small hand points to the hour. So that's the teacher and me. Um, I've made a right mucky mess of some of this today with this glue. But hey ho, we're getting it moving. Okie dokie, right, and then we'll just put these. I mean, you could always put the plot, the the um the little bird, the little cuckoo, up by the open doors of the clock if you so desire. And then I have my um my crocodile to uh, make a hole. So I kind of know where the middle up there is, and I'm going to come down in line with there. You can see, you know, I. If I had done that before, then I would have covered, just slightly covered up that hole, which isn't the end of the world, but um, it's just easier. So, and then I've got a little bit of ribbon. Um, push it through from the front to the back, and then you get that loop past both ends through the loop, and then pull. You can always... Um, Put a reinforcer there. There's some great ones in um, Elizabeth Craft's Art Journal uh, collection of dies. Literally just uh, sets of reinforced sort of die cut dies to cut. Um, so if you want to reinforce a little bit, you can. And then um, cut the uh, the, ra the rainbow. <laughs> cut the rainbow. I think I'm living on one at the moment. Cut the ribbon um, to whatever length you want. But when you cut it, you fold it in half and then cut from the end towards the centre that way. And you get a nice little V. It also helps stop your ribbon from fraying. Uh, oh, the glue didn't quite go into the middle there. Bear with me. Let's get the scissors back. There we go. Okay. So there we have our tag. Uh, we've used the um, I really wanted to bring in the um, this lovely uh, cuckoo clock edger from um, Creative Expressions. Um, this one's a little bit gluey. I do apologise for that. Um, but you, you get the 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 idea. It would bake. You could do this on a card as well. You know, covering half the card. Um, it doesn't just need to be on the very edge. So you be creative with your edge of dies. Um, have a look on the website. Uh, there's lots of other sort of paper cut type ones and edges uh, give you a little bit more inspiration. But thank you for joining me. Mm -hmm.